Here we look at the same problem and um, we're going to use the technique of implicit differentiation. So we were looking at the equation x squared plus y squared equal 25 and locally for x close enough to, to 4 and y close enough to 3 we could see that uh, y is actually a function of x. So x squared plus y squared equals 25 now can be written as x squared plus y of x squared equals 25. So y of x close enough to 0.43 is actually a function of x. And if we assume that y is differentiable, then on the left-hand side of the equation, there's just a differentiable function. Yeah, So we may differentiate the function x squared plus y x squared. But if we apply differentiation to the left-hand side of the equation, we have to perform the same operation on the right-hand side. So we have to take the derivative of 25. Uh, this is under the assumption that y prime x is, so the derivative of y. So we get 2x as the derivative of x squared plus an application of the product rule on yx times yx. So 2y prime y equals the derivative of 25. Well, 25 is a constant, so this term vanishes, so we get a zero on the right hand side. Now we might want to solve for y prime, right? So now we have the derivative of y in x equals minus x divided by yx, provided that y is unequal to zero. Well, this is uh, this is true, of course, if we zoom close enough, if we zoom in on 4, 3, then we may be sure that actually y is unequal to zero. Well, recall that y4 equals 3, so we now may just substitute the value x equals 4 and y x y of 4 equals 3, so that we get y prime in 4 is minus 4 over 3. So again, we find the line tangent to the curve, the solution curve of the equation, which is y equals 3 minus 4 over 3 x minus 4. Well, this technique, by just differentiating on uh, uh, differentiating in an equation without solving y in terms of x, is called implicit differentiation. To make sure that actually you may may use y as a function of x, this is a more is a topic for more advanced mathematics, which is called the implicit function theorem.